If I told you you could bring a grand piano, a Rhodes, a B3 organ, all your favorite vintage synths, and a digital synth that combines all existing forms of synthesis to your show without looking like this, you'd probably think I'm a bit crazy. Well, thanks to the efforts and experience of Arturia, what was once wishful thinking is now reality, and it is my pleasure to be one of the first one to show you Astrolab, Arturia's brand new avant-garde stage keyboard. It brings together the company's 25 years of experience creating both hardware and software instruments, and puts this expertise in a neatly designed, purposefully simple app control stage keyboard that aims to keep workflow and transportation simple while unleashing musicians and producers' creativity in the studio, on the road, and on stage. Let's take a listen. So what is Astrolab? Well, in a nutshell, Astrolab aims to provide musicians and producers with the most comprehensive suite of instruments and musical tools, while keeping the interaction with the instrument simple and transportation to a local gig or on the road as easy as possible. To meet this challenge, Astrolab brings together the power and versatility of Analog Lab, a collection of thousands of sounds and presets taken from the instruments of Arturia's V collection, and brings it to life into a beautifully crafted 61 key stage keyboard. We'll dig deeper into the software hardware integration later on, but for those of you who need a refresher, the V Collection is Arturia's flagship anthology of faithful software recreations of acoustic and electric pianos, organs, classic analog and digital synthesizers, as well as their own contemporary creations, such as Pigments, a powerful software synth that encapsulates all forms of synthesis, including but not limited to virtual analog, granular, FM, and more. In other words, Astrolab bridges the gap between software and hardware and puts an incredible collection of legendary synth and keyboards in one elegant and powerful instrument. Let's start by taking a look at the general design of the unit. Astrolab features a premium 61 full-size keys semi-weighted keyboard with channel aftertouch that aims to strike a balance between the weight of the keys of an acoustic piano and the feel of the keyboard of an organ or a synth. And honestly, I think it's a success. And I'm really enjoying the feedback and the balanced resistance of Astrolab's keyboard. For the rest of the control surface, Arturia has opted for a minimalistic approach optimized for intuitive preset browsing and selection, as well as easy sound and effects manipulation, perfect for live situation and studio creation. The number of buttons and knobs has been kept to a minimum with in the foreground preset selection and playlist control buttons, and in the back, eight encoders for instrument and effects control, as well as a few key controls which we'll go over shortly. 
The back of the unit features a USB Type-C port for connection to a host computer and a USB Type-A port that can be used to expand Astrolab's internal storage, a headphone jack, a quarter-inch stereo output, and two XLR inputs with a gain knob that can be used with Astrolab's vocoder presets. And in theory, they could also be used to process external audio sources such as microphones and instruments through Astrolab's effects, though at the time of the making of this video, I was unfortunately unable to test this. Astrolab also features inputs for sustain, expression, and two auxiliary pedals that can be set to control a number of parameters, as well as five pin MIDI in and out ports for external sequencing. The centerpiece of Astrolab is the rotary screen encoder that acts as a display, a button, and an encoder all at once. Now, making great sounds easily accessible to performers and producers on stage and in the studio is the main mission of Astrolab, and it achieves this by offering several intuitive ways to browse through its extensive library of presets. And the screen encoder offers a gorgeous graphic interface of the instrument in use and is central to all operations on Astrolab, including navigating and selecting presets, choosing effects, and setting instruments and global parameters for the keyboard. Astrolab comes out of the box with a selection of a thousand presets from Analog Lab, which you can access in different ways. The first and most obvious is to use the preset type buttons with the arrows to quickly navigate the presets. I used this method extensively when I was creating the opening demo for this video. It made the creation process super easy and a lot of the presets I used in my original draft actually made the final cut. And let me tell you, Astrolab comes with an amazing selection of piano sounds, roads, organs, and a plethora of synth leads, keys, brass, strings, and sequences you'll be able to put to work instantly. The screen encoder offers a similar breakdown of the presets with a couple of additional categories like drums, which I've used in my demos, and sound effects. Astrolab also lets you browse its presets by instruments. Looking for the particular tone of a mini Moog bass or some inspiration from Pigment's incredible sound engine? Well, you can just select that particular instrument and browse presets created with it. Last but not least, the sound designers at Arturia have recreated tribute sounds used by iconic artists and bands in their greatest hits, and Astrolab puts them at your fingertips with a menu designed to let you browse presets by artists. This is perfect for creating new songs in a particular aesthetic or for musicians performing in cover or tribute bands and looking to get as close to the real deal as possible without having to go through the time-consuming process of recreating the patches themselves. Another really cool feature of Astrolab is its seamless integration with Analog Lab and what it makes possible in terms of preset management. Astrolab features 22 gigabytes of internal memory and the presets that come loaded on the unit only occupy a fraction of that, which in turn means that you can expand Astrolab's preset library by simply dragging and dropping one of the 7,000 presets of Analog Lab. The other thing you can do, and this is probably one of my favorite features, is edit presets by opening the full version of the instrument to tweak the controls. This also means that you can create your own custom sounds and add them to your Astrolab library for use on stage. Astrolab is two-part multi-timbral, meaning it can play two presets simultaneously, and these two sounds can either be layered on top of each other or assigned to specific zones on the keyboard. This can come in super handy in situations in which you might have to play a bass sound with your left hand and some chords with your right hand, or a lead and some pads at the same time.
Astrolab comes with a number of multi-part presets, but it also makes it a breeze to create, customize, and control multi-part presets with the parse buttons. The key LEDs will clearly define the range of each preset on the keyboard with yellow LEDs for part one and green for part two, and the LED rings will turn green and yellow to show which part is edited, and blue if both parts are edited at once. And since we're on the subject of Astrolab's encoders, let's talk about sound manipulation. When Arturia was conceptualizing Astrolab, they realized that the complex UIs of traditional stage keyboards are often cluttered with buttons and knobs and are, as a result, often confusing and uninviting. The other thing they noticed was that in performance scenarios, musicians only required the controls of a handful of key parameters. With these observations, they went back to the drawing board with simplicity in mind, and as a result, Astrolab only features a total of eight encoders four of which are assigned to instrument control macros that affect the sound in different ways. Let's take a piano sound for instance. The brightness knob takes full advantage of the physical modeling technology and adjusts the hardness of the hammers making it possible to shift from a grand piano suited for classical music or jazz to a more pop-oriented piano, or even a melancholic cinematic piano sound, and the timbre knob adjusts the tuning of the piano strings to easily shift from a well-tuned piano to a honky-tonk effect. With a road sound, the brightness will morph the patch from a really cutting, funky sound to a more soothing ballad tone, and the movement knob adds some tremolo. With a B3 organ preset, the knobs affect the drawbar levels and with a synth patch, the filter cutoff and resonance. The macro assignments are fluid and will vary depending on the instrument. By default, Arturia has assigned a macro to the instrument controls that they thought would be the most useful to most performers, but they can be fully customized via Analog Lab. The next group of encoders controls Astrolab's onboard effects. The keyboard features two dedicated send effects, a multi-mode delay and a versatile reverb, as well as two assignable FX slots with 12 effects to choose from, including EQ, compression, chorus, flanger, distortion, wah, and more. Astrolab's reverb comes with no less than 14 different options to choose from, and the delay offers analog, digital, and tape options for a range of flavors, and the versatility of the insert effects section speaks for itself and is sure to give you what you need to sculpt your sounds to your heart's content. Another way you can control both instrument expressivity and effects is with pedals. Astrolab features multiple inputs for pedals, one for sustain and expression, but also two additional aux pedal inputs that can be used to control a range of parameters. For instance, you could set an aux pedal to toggle the effects on and off, like a guitar player would with a distortion pedal, for instance, 
or to launch Astrolabs onboard Looper. The MIDI Looper can be used creatively to build loops and jam out, but also to record linear performances and offers all the features you'd expect from a quality Looper, including live quantization, a swing setting, and fixed length loops. Astrolab also features a powerful multiple mode arpeggiator, a metronome to assist you in your practice, and Arteria's scale-assisted chord mode to easily create chord progressions. In order to keep things simple on stage during a performance, Astrolab lets you organize and recall your presets using a playlist system, making it easy for you to switch repertoire between your house of worship gig, your secret emo punk band, and that acid jazz project you've been trying to get off the ground for years. Just don't give up, I believe in you. Playlists can be created and edited in Analog Lab, but you can also easily access, create, and control them straight from Astrolab by pushing the Playlist button. The Playlist architecture is straightforward. Each playlist is divided into songs, which in turn can save up to 128 presets each. The first 10 presets of each song can then easily be browsed through using the preset type buttons, letting you switch from a piano to an organ to a burning synth lead in the blink of an eye. Astrolab also features wireless connectivity, and I'm talking both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here, as well as app support, which opens the door for a number of cool applications. Astrolab can either connect to a network or generate its own hotspot if no other connection is available, and can either communicate with Analog Lab when linked to a computer, and with the keyboard's companion app Astrolab Connect with a phone or tablet. Astrolab Connect can be used to browse and manage presets and search for new ones on the Arturia Sound Store for one, but it also really helps with operations that can be done on the keyboard, but are much simpler with a touchscreen interface, like editing text for instance. Last but not least, the wireless connectivity also makes it possible to route a computer, phone or tablet's audio into Astrolab to play along to your favorite songs or to learn new ones. So far, we've mostly looked at Astrolab from a live performance standpoint, but it is also designed to facilitate production in the studio and excels at it. Not only can Astrolab be sequenced externally via both its 5-pin MIDI connector or via MIDI over USB, but when connected to a computer, it can communicate with Analog Lab and unleash the true power of both software and hardware combined. What that means practically is that you can open Analog Lab in your DAW, link it to Astrolab and start producing songs right away using both Astrolab's internal library and Analog Lab's preset collection while monitoring Astrolab with true zero latency. With this process, it's also very easy to record DAW automations on the fly using Astrolab's macro encoders. And if like me, you're a bit disorganized in your creative process, it also makes remembering the presets you use a lot easier. And with this, we come to the end of this brief overview of the features of Arturia's brand new Astrolab, and I have to say, I really think they hit it out of the park with this release. This stage keyboard is undeniably powerful and versatile, it sounds incredible, and if you think about it, with the symbiotic relationship between Astrolab and Analog Lab, the sonic possibilities and the musical applications of Astrolab are virtually limitless. You can turn this keyboard into any instrument you want and bring it with you to the stage or put it to work in your studio, and I can easily see it become a familiar sight on stages and studios around the world. So, what are your thoughts about Astrolab? Are you excited to see Arturia bring their incredible sounds to life in a physical keyboard? And what kind of music would you play with it? Let me know in the comments below. This was Gabe with BNH, and I'll see you next time.